Hey guys, uh, welcome to uh, Retrofile. I uh, thought I'd uh, do this uh, follow-up video to my uh, analog DAC uh, unboxing uh, video that I did about, oh, probably about a month ago. Um, I've been planning on doing this instructional video or this uh, more like a, I guess like a review. And, um, you know, openly I actually had uh, run into a little bit of a snag uh, with mine and I discovered what I had done. So I thought, um, you know, it might be a good idea to also do like a, like a how-to video, uh, you know, just setting one of these up. Um, you know, if you have say the uh, Mega SG or the uh, Super NT or actually the NT Mini, sorry, the NT Mini, which I've actually got uh, on order myself as well. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw that announcement, um, you know, on my channel and some of the other channels, of course, that are out there um, that are, have been more widely established, but um, I was probably one of the early ones to kind of put something up there because I literally shot it and I just put it out uh, on my channel immediately. So to kind of see if I could help uh, grow the channel. But anyways, uh, back to, uh, you know, getting this uh, video together for you guys. Um, you know, basically the, the idea behind uh, having having a DAC is, uh, ha having one of these digital um, analog converters is to have um, one of the consoles made by analog and then connect it to uh, like a, a CRT display. If you have like a, a, a TV, like a Sony TV that you've got, um, that, you've, that you purchased and you want to use one of these consoles or you have like a professional video monitor of some type, uh, whether it's Sony or JVC or, or NEC, uh, you know, quite often those like those uh, type of higher end displays will have um, like uh, what's called like a BNC connector and they'll take in uh, RGB. So uh, with the DAC, it able, you're able to take um, the HDMI output that in these cases would normally go to like people that are buying these are usually hooking up to like a, like an LCD, uh, like an LED TV and then being able to configure scan lines. But, uh, you know, if you want to have that little bit more of a, you know, retro kind of look and you want to use a CRT instead, you need to have something that will convert the signal to, um, from digital to like for analog. So, uh, this, uh, particular box, um, yeah, it supports, it has basically the HD15 um, port. So it uses like, I guess you would call the, you know, the VGA type of connector, but you need uh, cables to be able to attach to whatever TV that you're using. Um, so it has this port, it has also some RCA jacks. If you want to connect it to like an audio, like a stereo or something like that, um, you know, you can basically, you're getting that output, it's taking the HDMI, giving you video and it's also giving you the uh, the analog uh, sound and then you have your your power and then you have um, USB that the, will actually power your your console and then you have your HDMI um, input and then on the side you have a switch that will go between uh, PAL and uh, NTSC Okay, so uh, since this is a new channel, obviously the uh, the production quality is not going to be quite there yet. So with any any help from you guys over time, um, you know, I'm definitely going to be working on that. But uh, basically, I'm going to be this is my first uh, you know instructional video, so I'm going to do the best I can. Um, anyways, when once you uh, pick up your 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 DAC, um, you're going to need uh, cables. So first off, you know if you need if you're planning on connecting your DAC to a standard, like a television, um, you know, most likely you're going to be wanting to connect it via component on a, on a regular TV. So this is actually the, uh, mono price. Um, I guess you call it VGA or HD, um, HD 15 to, uh, to component. So you're going to get, uh, you know, you'll basically order one of these from, um, I think I believe I got mine off of Amazon. I will uh, actually link to the Amazon, um, I guess the, the sale uh, on Amazon for you guys in the description below. Uh, but this, the idea behind this is that you'll, and I'll do it, I'm gonna set it up in one second, but um, yeah, you get, uh, if you're using uh, CRTV, you need basically one of these cables. 
or if you are planning on connecting to um, like a professional monitor, you're going to need something like this. Now, this is not um, this is not the mono price one, but it's it's basically the same thing. I picked this one up from uh, Canada's Computers. Uh, really, what it is is just like a, I think the package said HD15 to 5B and C. So you basically have your your RGB sorry RGB um, connectors. So you have your uh, your uh, red, blue, and green, and then you have your HD, and then I think this one is your. I forget now the video the video one of the video feeds as well. I know that this one I don't use on my on my display so it's usually the first and I'll show you how I got it connected as well but uh, yeah I usually use the first uh, the first four starting with green on, uh, on my BVM or my uh, like my Sony BVM and I also have a, a JVC display okay so when you get your DAC um, and you know I thought it'd be good to show this as well because you know everybody just kind of shows okay I got it connected but they don't actually show you what they've done so um, when you receive your DAC, I mean, you know, check out the unboxing video. All you really get is uh, you get the DAC and you get the, um, basically the power cable. So what you do is you take the one end and you can um, plug it into the power supply that came with your, um, like one of your consoles as well. Like the, in this case, it's the, uh, the Mega SG. This shot's going to be interesting to work on but um, anyways um, plug it into the I guess the uh, the you know the micro USB on the back for power and then actually this will work quite good I just want to keep it sort of neat as possible um, so you have you know you have the power coming from the outlet to the to the dock itself and then what you're gonna want is another USB cable in this case it's not the one that came with my my uh, my Mega SG, but uh, just my cell phone cable. But it's you know, it's micro USB, so it, it works regardless. And you want to plug that. Sorry, you want to plug that into the back of your uh, of your console. So basically, the power is running from the outlet through the DAC, and then the DAC is basically passing the the power to. Um, your Mega SG. I actually had this connected to my computer, uh, having my computer just provide the USB power at one point, just because I was last night I was testing um, basically my setup between a few different displays. So just to kind of mitigate the the chaos, I um, I thought okay, it would be best to um, you know just use what I had nearby. Okay, sorry about that. So once you have the uh, you know the power coming from the dock itself you just go ahead and um this is quite the mess you uh you plug in your uh hdmi cable into into the dock itself and uh it's not supposed to look like a mess like this but you get the idea and then you <laughs> to make it even more crazy you take your um, HD15 cable and then you plug it into uh, to the back of your DAC and then you run your uh, your audio connections to uh, you know whatever your your speaker system your stereo system if you want or actually on the television as well in the case of um, like say your professional monitor has an input for for RCA sound or also like a te the television as well. You plug in your uh, white and red uh, RCA jacks into uh, the back of the TV. Now, the one thing too I'm going to note is, um, and I want to want to walk you guys through is just basically updating um, your your consoles if you're on an earlier version like I was, and um, it, it won't work. It actually won't connect with this with the DAC. So if you look, if you go on the website, which I'll show you uh, in, a, in a, some screenshots in a moment, but if you go on the website, you actually have to download um, the latest firmware for your 
analog uh, console, like I say, if you just bought it and you know you haven't done the update yet, that's the one thing that you're going to have to do. And then, otherwise, it won't it won't recognize the uh, the DAC in the in the menu, and uh, you won't be able to use it. So, I'm going to show you guys that. So this console is actually fully updated, but my uh, super um, super NT is still on the old firmware. So we're going to be using um, this device and show you how what it will look like when it's not working, and then uh, what it will be what it will look like when it is working. Um, the one thing you need is to make sure you have an SD card um, to be able to and a computer to be able to uh, perform the update. So in the next video, I'll be able to walk you through how to um, format an SD card and perform the uh, the BIOS settings uh, necessary on both consoles, like the Mega SG as well as the Super NT, uh, in order to use the um, the analog DAC with your with your system. And then um, I'll show how I've connected um, you know the consoles to uh, multiple displays. So. Uh, yeah, feel free to like and subscribe and uh, you'll be able to uh, keep in touch with um, various updates. Thanks. Bye-bye.